coming off of a big win against Boston on Wednesday, 127-112. And no Al Horford tonight for OKC. He is out due to rest. And so Darius Baisley and Isaiah Roby will anchor the front court for OKC. And you already see a, a momentary trap there, but Trey Young gives it up to Herter. And there is Clint Capella on the glass, slamming home that redirect. He's a pick-and-roll guy who likes to get to the rim and dunk a lot of his baskets. And there is Gilgis Alexander attacking immediately, putting pressure on Trey Young as he scores inside. And it's Collins as Capella on the hit ahead, and it gets behind the defense. And so Clint Capella's got all six points here for Atlanta. Oh, Maladone gets inside. But it just speaks for how unselfish he is as... Trey Young lines up one from deep. He's not by the logo. He's a logo shooter. Knocks down the three. Here is Young, but that's what he can do as well, driving to the rim. And, and his offensive arsenal, Mike, it is complete. Capella will throw it out of there because Capella is a shot blocker, but instead he used the rim on the backboard. And those are the, the kind of things on offense that, that come and go. When you set up good shots, not all of them are going to go in. And that time the Thunder made the adjustment, sniffing out the alley-oop. Two on one. Perfectly executed. Maladone to Baisley. And, and so, you know, he's one of those guys who's helping out the bigs, Collins and Capella. Boy, again, Shea Kilgis Alexander goes right at Trey Young. This time a finish with the left hand. And the Thunder again tap it out off the miss. Baisley Wants to run on Collins, and he will climb the ladder. Young trying to create on his own. Scoops it up. That'll be a 24-second. Nope, they're going to let the Thunder play it out. As Dort spots up and drills a three from the outside. Letting that go. You know, we've discussed that, and look what happens on the other end. Boy, Dort did a great job of keeping Young in front, but again, it's Collins crashing. And so far, the Atlanta offense... It's clicking here in this first quarter. Dort has himself another three. That's his second. That one splashes home. Three on two. Williams plants himself. Wide right, no good. Jerome, the offensive rebound. Here is Williams slashing to the rim and the score. Played for Tony Bennett making his OKC debut. Rondo, 4-3. Providing a little veteran presence for the Hawks. Coming off the bench now. Commanding this second unit. SGA, nifty move. Springs free and gets the friendly bounce on the three. And then creates space. Thunder going to have to be hasty here. Williams got it off in time at the free throw line. And it goes. And Mike, you were saying that you think there's an advantage in, in the Thunder pushing off those Atlanta misses. Well, you just got numbers. And look at this. You don't allow them to set up their defense. Now, they're pretty good when they set up their defense, as are most teams. Really any shot-blocking presence in the ball game for the Hawks. Attack that rim. As Herter strokes one from the outside, and that's why he's on the floor. That's why he was drafted highly out of Maryland. Well, it's just good things happen when that ball's moving and exchanging hands. Oh, Maladone slips his way inside and then puts a little English on it. Capella's back in the ball game. He's a shot blocker. He likes to hang around the rim. Gallinari. Oh, he's going to get the and one. Yeah, well. You're a career 40% three-point shooter as Herder. Boy, springs up there and throws it down. And, his own, and a defensive player to get to the basket and shield the defender. SJ sizes up John Collins, who had no chance of slowing him down. A couple former teammates here. SGA bounces off Gallinari. Roby can't tap it out, but it's in stride to Trey Young. And a nice find inside. Gallinari slams it home. Atlanta's just haven't been able to catch up defensively since maybe the four-minute mark of the first quarter. Another nice find. Maladone send it over. And Lou Dort goes up and just a guide in there with two hands. Well, he, had, he had 10 threes, Mike. He had 30 threes the entire season going in. Baisley again off the deck, and he shows the touch going at Gallinari in the lane. Four times a game. He's got another turnover there. Better looking to add to its lead. SGA, hard drive down the lane, and nobody underneath can slow him down. Thunder picked its uniform first and chose Sunset. The Hawks then picked red, and there was apparently a glitch in the uniform selection system that's used, which is why we got that clash of colors tonight. Typically, that combination would not have been allowed. The NBA requested an adjustment during the first half. 
The Hawks only have these red uniforms on the trip, so the Thunder got the white uniforms together quickly so the team could change at halftime. Now they're out there wearing white. With those 11 points, as you just mentioned, on five of six shooting. Well, this is what the Thunder did a lot in the first half. Getting those drives, looking for those lanes. This time, Roby again under control. But, man, he does a good job of sealing you on the box. Thunder did a good job in the first half. Man, he's got a nice stroke. Quick release. That's why he was drafted high as Baisley. Another beautiful spin high off the glass and scores. Defensively. Fifth player for the Thunder to get into double digits. And Young realizes that he's wide open momentarily and capitalizes. Game plan according to his offense, which is the ultimate sign of respect. SGA going to get a little respect after that shot. A little step back three in the face of Collins. 13 points on the night. Here is Maladon. Beautiful fast break. And the timely dish there to Baisley. Well, we often talk about how hard it is to make that adjustment to be a point guard in the NBA. But Tail Maladon at 19 years old, his European experience is showing up. And Jake Gill, just Alexander, just totally breaking down the Hawks' defense. And he's what player development is all about in just his second season here in Oklahoma City. Mark Dagnall often says two steps forward, one step back is Trey Young with Atlanta very much needing a bucket, gives it to him. But SJ this time stops, pops, pulls up and connects. As that one bangs off of the leg of Muscala, a fight for it and it pops out to Dort. Thunder forced the turnover. Williams using those long strides, and Muscala avoids the defense and slices his way to the rim. Now Gallinari, who could shoot it over Jerome if he wants. It's a drive. Oh, but Capella missed the bunny initially, and the offensive rebound, second chance. Thunder with time, though, across the timeline. Muscala pulls up from the logo and hits. The Hawks have been able to cash in on Williams, boy, he evades everybody on his way to the cup. Kind of flipped the ball out of Mike's hands, and it actually went in. Balladon finds the open man, and boy, he and Ty Jerome tonight have had the telepathy. They've been on the same page since the first half. On the defensive end, being disruptive. Herter gets underneath, and so the Hawks starting to chip away here. The offense has been quiet here. Just four points so far in the fourth quarter. As Jerome, right on cue, buries a three from the outside. Most assists in a Thunder debut with six. That's a big three. Rondo cuts his way to the rim. Out of Kentucky, just such a savvy point guard. Very shrewd. Jackson. Catch fire three, that's two in a row for OKC, right when the Thunder needed it. SJ forces the pass of Rondo, and a deflection, nearly a steal. Herder's going to have to put it up. Rondo from the corner, and he's got himself another three. They've been able to get. Well, both teams are getting some serious second chance opportunities, particularly in the fourth quarter, as Young will sweep it around there to Collin. Easily close the airspace there momentarily. Now a double team on Young. Herder. Quickly has to hoist. Off again. Hill the rebound. Outside Young. Third opportunity. That one is good. Double team on SGA. But are going to have to execute here offensively. Dort sets the feet. Eyes the three and got the three. Thunder trying to protect that nine point lead. 205 to go here. Got another good one for you, folks. SGA bisects the lane. The Hawks have to bring the action to you. Hawks trying to force a turnover. Baisley sees a crease, takes it up and throws it down. Whenever there's a double team, there's going to be an open man. And the Thunder can enjoy this one. Back-to-back -back wins. The buzzer-beating finish on Wednesday. And they close out the Atlanta Hawks here on the front end of this back-to-back.